Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I am back with the November challenge blanket. So during November I challenge you to crochet every day and this is my suggested project. I am busting some stash by making rectangular granny squares which are rectangular and I have joined them in the previous video made them in the first video and this is our last video where I am showing you how to make the border I am really loving the look of this blanket and it's such a relaxed lovely pattern that is easy for you to do and it uses up some stash I mean what could be better than that so I did take it to the park for a little photo shoot because I thought it really deserved it. And here we go. Border time. Yes, we have made it inside with our blanket. So I am ready to get started on the border. These are the two colours that I'm going to be using. We all decided on these colours uh, during a live uh, two Sundays ago. So I was already planning on using the meadow, but then I thought there needs to be something to the border you know um and then we decided to do posts so that means boxes a boxes row in buttermilk and then back to the meadow and then we have just those little posts sticking out well that's the plan okay that is the plan so let me get started with doing half double crochets around my blanket so let's find the end make a slip knot insert your hook and of course now you have to just check to see if you have a front or a back to your blanket and i'm going to get started here on a corner so i can show you what to do and then i will also show you what to do here and then you'll be off basically so for half double crochets we're going to yarn over and i'm just going to go under any v and I'm going to start my stitch. So that is a standing half double crochet that I did there, just so we can get started. And then of course you continue doing your half double crochets until you meet the corner. In the corner, you are going to do two half double crochets two chains and two half double crochets into that chain space and that's enough to make a nice cornery corner so i have just made it to the join of two rectangles here we've got the chain of the corner i'm going to skip that one then i'm going to place a half double crochet into the join then i'm going to skip the chain here of the next rectangles corner and then I'm going to get started with my half double crochet into the first double crochet that you see there of that cluster. So really I, sh I could have done a stitch there, a stitch here, a stitch here before getting started again but you know what I always say with borders? <clears throat> yeah less is more. <laughs> So for this border in particular, it's quite easy because you have these all around your blanket. So you can just easily pick those up here. I have a little bit of a situation because I've sewn in my end here and I can't get under the V. And you know what? I'm just going to skip it. It doesn't matter. I just go under the next one and that's fine. Less is more. OK, so I just go and continue now on this round making my corners two half double crochets two chains and two half double crochets skipping those chains in the corners but placing a half double crochet in the join and that is what i am going to be doing all around my blanket i will meet you when i am ready to close my round So when you get to the end of the round, this stitch always closes up for me. I go under the next V and I do a slip stitch. Then you chain two. This one then counts as your last stitch of your round. You then go into the first one. 
and you go into the next one and you just keep on doing your half double crochets. And then when you get to the corner, you continue doing your corners as before. Two half double crochets, two chains and two half double crochets. There we go. And this is how you are going to continue for as many rows as you fancy. Or come and meet me again in a moment for putting in the buttermilk posts. So I have done two rounds of meadow half double crochet around my blanket. Now I am ready to start using the buttermilk and we are going to make the boxes row with it. We are doing double crochets for this round because then the boxes are just a tiny bit bigger. So make your slip knot. And I'm going to get started in a corner because then you know where you are. So you yarn over, go into the corner and you are going to do the same um, type of corner as we did before. Two double crochets this time, chain two and another two double crochets. Okay, so that's our corner made. And now, of course, we know where we are. Now, boxes require a multiple of two plus one. Obviously, I don't know how many stitches I've got here, but starting in the corner, we will just see how it works out on the other end. So it's not going to make much difference. Nobody is going to see if we were to skip two towards the end, just before the corner to make up for our multiple. So let's get started. Chain one. Skip one and a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. And this is how you will continue. So now I will continue around my blanket. I will do my corners, two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets. And if it doesn't work out, I'm just going to skip an extra stitch. So I will see you when I have finished my boxes round. So I finished my boxes round and I started doing a half double crochet round again around the chain spaces of my boxes. And look, it looks like these posts are just, you know, there. <laughs> It doesn't look like they're attached to something. So I really like that look and I think it's looking great. So I'm just going to keep putting two half double crochets in each chain space. And I make sure that I don't bunch them together like this. See? Like this. So they look like a cluster. So I make sure I sort of spread them out a bit and that way they cover the chain space and they you know sort of complete the illusion i mean i know it's all in my head but there we go <laughs> and when you get to the corner here you're going to place a half double crochet on top of those double crochets then you do your corner two half double crochets two chains and two half double crochets and then again, you place a half double crochet on top of the double crochet. And again, for that second one, there we go. And then you can get started again with putting your two half double crochets around the chain spaces. And I just make sure that they are, you know, sort of not bunched together but looking neat and nice like this. Okay, so, and I will be doing a second round as well. And that will be it for the border. Mm -hmm. 